Hello, my name is Maria Alejandra, and today we're going to learn how to use Edmodo for teachers. Edmodo helps connect all learners with the people and resources needed to reach their full potential. It's a free and safe way for students and teachers to connect and collaborate. It also engages students as it behaves like a social network, but it has educational purposes. So let's start. First of all, you have to create an account. As you're a teacher, you sign up for a teacher. You have to select a title, either Mr., Mrs., Miss, or Doctor. You write your first name, your last name, your email. You create a password. After that, you read the terms of service and privacy policy. Finally, you agree and sign up. I already created my own account, so let's see how Edmodo works. Okay, this is Edmodo's homepage. On this side, you can find the search browser. You can search for posts, groups, users, apps, and more things. In this side, you can find your name, Miss Sally in my case, the teacher. Below it, you can find your groups. You, you are able to name your own groups. In my case, this is called EFL class number one. So, Edmodo has a code access to your students. So invite students to join by giving them this group code. It changes depending on your group. So students can sign up for Edmodo using this code or join if they have an existing account. The second step, log the group code once your students have joined and make sure not to post it publicly. This code will automatically log 14 days after group creation. Any student joining with the log group code will be placed into a queue for you to approve. Third and last, you have to share folders, create assignments, and get your classroom discussion going. Also, in this side, you can post and see anything you want to share or also anything your students share. Also, you have folders. You create folders in order to share information or anything you want with your students. On this side, you can have the members of your group and you can look over their profiles. In my case, I have no members but me. If I had students, I could watch. I could look for their profiles, but I still I don't have any. Back in the home page, you can also find the communities of your interest. You can have options like career and technology education, college readiness, computer technology, creative arts, language arts, and many more. Also, you can find posts of some teachers of many other fields. You have posts of language arts, also posts of or comments or news or useful tips from other teachers. As it is a social network, you can comment, make comments, you can share and add things with other colleagues. Okay, below the search browser in here, you will find many options that Edmodo has for you. The first one, note. You can type any note you want for either a group, student, or a teacher. You type a note here and you send it to any of them. 
Additionally to it, you can attach files from your computer. Also, you can share a link of a website. You can add a file of your library. And also, you can schedule those notes. You can choose a day and a time and you send it. Also, it has an alert option. In here, you can post any special reminder to your students at any day or any time. You also can schedule the message. Also, you have the assignment option to post homework or any other task. You can name it in here and you can write a description of the assignment. Also, you can log this message after you do that. Also, you can load the assignment and here you put the due date. As in the note, you can attach file from your computer, share a link, add a file of your library, and schedule this message too. Moreover, Edmodo gives you the option of loading a previously created quiz or creating a quiz. So what you have to do is to choose a type of test you want to create. You have multiple choice, true or false, short answer, fill in the blank, and matching, and then you add the questions. In my case, I'm going to select matching as an example and add the question. Here you can write instructions and here you add the options you want to write or if you want to add more options, you can do it. You can assign points per answer. You can change the number as well as you can set a time limit. And finally, if you are willing to, you can write a description or a note about this quiz and then you assign it or you can print it too. Back in the home page, you have a last option, poll. You can use the application poll in Edmodo to get your students, colleagues or others opinion about a question or issue you want to know about. So you can write down any question you want and you can put the answers, as many answers as you want. Next to the home page, you have progress. My student badges. You can award badges from a group's progress page or a student's profile. So you have badges such as good citizen, good question, hard worker, homework helper, participant, perfect attendance, star performer, or student of the month. So you can award your students with this. Also here, you have the discover option. In here, it model suggests applications or useful links. These are suggestions. Some of them are free, some others you have to pay for it. Also, you find communities. The subject communities you can follow that suit your teaching interests. So you have many options you can follow. Finally, you also have publishers. Publisher communities which you can follow. There are a letter of options that you can follow regarding publishers. Finally, you have access to a library. In here, you have the chance to have your own library to upload your files or store others to have them on hand. So you can have folders, favorite ones. Furthermore, 
you can have attached to posts. And finally, you also have Google Drive access. Additionally, you have notifications. Here you can check for news on Edmodo and your groups. In my case, it's cool, nothing new. I don't have any notification. Also, you have account options. Here you can check your profile. You can have a look to your information and update it when it is necessary. Information about you, profile overview, also the communities you follow. These are communities I follow in my case. Also, settings. You can upload a photo yourself or you can choose any of these options. Here you have personal information, your email account, your name, your country, school or place you work at, and your profile URL. Use case. Also in here, you can ask for help. Here you have many options about topics, teacher manual, and other stuff. Also, in here you can report a problem. So you write down explicitly the problem you encounter and you send the request. And additionally, you can provide other teachers with the opportunity to use that model by clicking in here, invite. In a home page. Well, also, in the right side of the page, you have many more options of doing more things in Edmodo. So you have store. The store home where you can find some free apps or others that you have to pay for. Also, you have manage my apps, or is it in here too? In here, you can find your install apps. Also, you have a wish list for you to access to your most relevant apps. So you can remove them too. Also, you can ask for help in the store. So if you're looking for something specific, this is store where you can have some help. Going back, also you can browse for a specific subject. So you have here some subjects and you can browse from for anything special you're looking for. This option, Apps Launcher, you can start using all your installed apps and Moto Planner or Photo Editor. Also, you have an Edmodo Planner. You can also access to a weekly or monthly planner of events, assignments, and the like for your students or the community in general. You add new tab or anything you want. Finally, don't forget to log out when you're done. Okay, so this is pretty much what Edmodo can do for us as teachers. I hope you can use it in your classes too, because I know your students will take advantage of this tool a lot. Please, learn and enjoy it. Bye-bye.